keep it out. Just be like, no. Hello, whenever you're watching this, I hope you had an amazing day. That you like this better. one? That's way better. Goes with your olive skin better. So basically, Chloe and I both got on the dating app Hinge. Hinge. We both got on the app at the same time. Actually, I don't know when you got on the app, but I got on the app from my friends telling me to. And at the time, I didn't really want to get on a dating app. I was like, I want to meet someone in person. But like, in all honesty, I don't think that was ever going to happen. Only like a few, I swear it was only like a few days before we met. I got on it because once I was like facing these questions, I was like, this is a safe way to meet girls and know like for sure that they are interested in other girls. I take everything really seriously in life. Like when I'm filling out a questionnaire, I'm like, I really think about the answers and anything I submit, I like put a lot of effort into or anything I write, I'm really specific about. But when I was filling out the hinge thing, I was just like, oh, this is fun. So it was like, what's your most irrational fear? And I was watching Jurassic Park a lot of the time. And I was like, oh, I keep having dreams that I'm scared of dinosaurs right now. I woke up from a crazy dream and I was like, whoa, what the heck? Like I just had the weirdest dream. They're like, what? I was like, I had a dream that a dinosaur was chasing me down downtown LA and I was like just running from it my entire dream and I was like that's so crazy like I've never seen Jurassic Park I don't really care about dinosaurs and so the then tail. and the tail was like knocking down all the buildings and I was just really running like looking back and so I like got on hinge and her profile was the first to come up and it was like I've been having way too many dinosaur dreams that it's unreal and I was like oh my god I just had one last night like no way that's crazy and, and she, she thought I was kidding. No, I mean- You for, did. Of course, for a mo anyone who says like, I just had a dinosaur dream. I was like, that seems really specific. In true Brooklyn fashion, she came in like all caps, like just a psycho chaotic. text with like, a chaotic text with like a bunch of typos. Like, oh, I just had a dream of drama. Is that how you talk in your head? Oh, yeah. I like that. Then I was asking her to go to the farmer's market because she said she liked going to the farmer's market. I love farmer's markets. So then I was like, hey, do you want to go? Um, long story short, something happened. I ended up having to cancel on her. I felt very bad. So then I was like, okay, I'm so sorry. Can we do this day? And she was a little mad at me. So she's like, yeah, I only have like two hours. And I was like, perfect. She didn't know I was coming down from Orange County to no. come see her. So um, if I had known that, I wouldn't have done. No, I respect I you though, like setting a boundary. That is cool. Cause I think like when you're meeting on an app, like you don't really know what you're, what to expect, yeah. you know what I mean? So like I if things you. aren't going like well or according to plan, I think like play it by ear, but maybe like set a time so that you can like have a way out or you know. Yeah, I, I read posts like that that was like, if you're going on like a, a dating app date and you're nervous, like just say you have to be somewhere so that you have a way out because if you're enjoying it, you can just say that you'll cancel it. Yeah. But if you aren't- and, Well, it's and, just like the internet too. Like you don't know what you're gonna get. So just like be careful and cautious. I wanna clarify. I wasn't, I wasn't mad, but I was already so nervous because it was going to be my first date with a girl. So I was going through like a lot of emotions. You know, I was really stressed. I was really like, what's going scared. on? I was confused, yeah. scared and then you canceled and i'm like all right can i pick you up let's go get coffee and like walk around in the mall so and i was like i have a meeting in in uh, like I, I only have an hour because i have a meeting I didn't that a she meeting. didn't have so i texted her i was like okay i'll pick you up i am driving two hours two hours in traffic she was 20 minutes late and there was no text because I was so, driving in I know, traffic. I know you were driving. I know you were being careful. But for 20 minutes, I thought you stood me up. So then she was angry. So her nerves went away. So she got in the car and she's like, hey, what's up? Like, we hugged. And I was like, oh, I really like this girl. And then she's like, so where are we going? And I was like, oh, um, well, let's like, let's go to Starbucks. So we went to Starbucks and I walk in and I bought our, our drinks. And then the girl behind the counter was like, oh my God, I'm such a huge fan of you and your mom. And I was like, oh, that's so cool. Like they must come to the Starbucks all the time. So then we get our drinks and Chloe like looked at me and she's like, I'm, she's like, sorry about that. Like, I don't know really how to put this, but I did dancing when I was young. And I was like, that's so cool. Like dancing, that's great. So then I text her the next day and I was like, hey, it was around Halloween. So it was uh, October 28th. And I was like, hey, do you want to come over and carve pumpkins? I drove down to Orange County and I was, I had school and classes and everything. So I left at a terrible time. And yeah, she was in traffic. traffic for like now you know how I felt the day before. Hours, yeah. Cause we were going to hang out on Halloween, but we both had plans. Mm -hmm. So we had two dates in a row. And, and then, then we were just like texting, FaceTiming. And then I was like, hey, I'm going to Arizona. And she was like, oh, why? And I was like, I don't know, my cousin is, 
free. So I went and then the attack happened. And then I texted her because like right when I got into the attack, I was like, what is she going to think? Because I connected so well with her and I didn't want her to like not like me. So I texted her and I was like, hey, I got into an attack with a pit bull. And she was like, oh, that's okay. You're going to be okay. Because I don't think she knew like how extreme it was. Um, her friend got bit when she was younger and it was just like a puncture wound. So I think she was probably like comparing like. I had that preconceived idea that. It was like little. It was scary, but not like a life changing. Right. Thing. And I was like, I'm um, like, no, you don't understand. Also, like, my whole life was taken off. And she was like, right away, like, you're still beautiful. Um, she was like looking for flights, but because it was COVID, um, I was like, you can't, like, because I was literally alone in the hospital room. Dog. I just want to say, no, Chloe has like seriously no, no. not made me ever feel like I was not beautiful like she has supported me in every way she's Hi. always just like reassured me about how beautiful i am and that um i should just be confident in myself and she honestly showed me like what real beauty is thank you seriously everywhere seen this go hunt someone you love today